quality of their eyesight may not be perfect, but these people's lives are rolling along just fine anyway. Every Tuesday afternoon, visually impaired bowlers from Lethbridge can be found at Holiday Bowl. Volunteers pick them up from their homes and provide them with assistance on the lanes. Matthew Hoare has been bowling in the league for four years, and he says it's nice to get out and do something fun. Well, I, I think it's a good outing. Like, I mean, I'm fortunate I'm able to get out of the house and stuff, but like I say, I've met a lot of good people here, and some of the people, this is their only outing. Lack of vision does not impair their ability to bowl. Bowler Darlene Roke managed to earn a turkey pin, recognition for three consecutive strikes. Coordinator Joanne Karen says it's an opportunity for the bowlers to socialize in a non-competitive way. Afternoon, and you bowl against yourself. You're not bowling against the other bowlers or that. We have a roll-off um, at the end of the year, and you bowl against your own score. Hoare says it's a nice outing that provides them with the opportunity to socialize. So, you know, this means a lot for them to be able to come out and get together with other blind people, but, you know, just to share ideas and hang out and with an activity where you're all equal. The bowling league is subsidized by the Lions Club. The funding that they receive enables them to keep their league costs down. At the end of the year, the bowling league puts on a banquet for the Lions Club to show their appreciation. For E-News, I'm Sarah Ruddekopp.